Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we are going to uh, learn how to create a Lego arm similar to this. Uh, so nothing too complicated. This will probably again now this is probably our most complicated tutorial. Hopefully we can keep it under the 10 minute mark. Uh, but yeah let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start by first creating this and then this is a separate entity and then this but it shouldn't be too bad. I'll put up a brand new Blender file. We're going to use the cube, as I've told you I always like to do. You go into edit mode by hitting tab, go add a modifier and a subdivision surface, and I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Uh, actually, before we get started, go back into object mode and shade smooth, and then go back into edit mode. It just visually just looks a little bit better to me. Uh, sweet. Now I'm going to take this, whoops, forgot when you work in wireframe. Probably most of this tutorial should be in my in wireframe. I'm gonna pull it this way and rotate a little bit. The the main goal of what we're doing right now is we are creating this part up here, which uh, let me pull up in this guy again, is this right here. And you can see that we're gonna have this is almost like a pivot point where we have a point, 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 and there's gonna be points all the way here. So it's almost like in a yeah, it's going to pivot from there. So we're going to want to put as many uh, points there as we can. And yeah, I, I hope this is making a little bit of sense. And I think we can actually maybe go all the way down. Something like this. So I'm just hitting G to rotate, and or G to grab, R to rotate, and just to get that and then once we have that I'm gonna put uh, one subdivision up actually might be better uh, to I'm gonna use the face selection tool and select the face here and then just extrude it this is just so that we when we put it all together uh, this will go into the body of it. It will look a little bit better. Uh, anyway, yeah. So let's do that. Um, make sure that we have that selected. And let's go down. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Go down a little bit. And I'm going to go into the right side view now and now we're going to use this as our pivot uh, because now his hand is going to be moving forward uh, and this one kind of goes down and then it's coming forward a little bit uh, it may even be going back a little bit with that one but that's okay uh, so let's go into our right side view and extrude rotate and we probably only need one rotate point on this one because uh, it's not that big of a change there and then that's probably uh, I'm actually might be a little bit tall this way so I'm going to grab all these points from this point for me and just grab it up it may not be for you however so I'm going to grab these last four points and hit E again and then just pull them out just a little bit just to give that little crisp edge, hit E and right click. And I'm going to go to the front view for the rest of this now. And then I'm going to hit S to scale it down to give it. It's kind of hard to see in all these, actually. But that little bit of diameter between this, the outside, and the inside of his arm. And then go back into the side view, hit E, and extrude just a little bit, hit E, extrude maybe a little bit more, and E again. Uh, this is just going to create the uh, yeah, the edges to work out just right. Uh, one more thing that we maybe forgot to E, I guess, or extrude, would be, I'm going to go into object solid view here, is this part right here. So we're going to add, I'm going to add one more. So just hit Control R to loop cut and click on the in between point here and create two there just to make it crisp. 
Uh, yeah. So I just also increased the, the subdivision there. It was getting pretty choppy. Uh, hopefully it doesn't kill us too bad. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. The main thing though is if we look at this guy, you can see there's a little bit of a line here and maybe a little bit of a like a crisp line here. These just these little details. Uh, so we're gonna try and fix that. And this looks funky. It doesn't look right. So we're gonna fix that as well. Go into wireframe. I'm gonna pull these out is the main thing here and add one more there. So I just control R, click on that line and do that. Maybe even zoom in here and move these points a little bit like this. Yeah, just get those kind of as close as I can. And let's see, we need a little bit more of a line here. So now his arm comes here, and we want this to be more linear. Now here's just a nifty little trick. If we want this to be a line from this point to this point, we can we can select these points and hit G once, and that'll let us move, and hit G again, and then push it all the way to the bottom, click, and then d double tap G again, and push it all the way to the top, and then double G again, and you can put it where you want, and it will always be in the straight path from here to here. Uh, however, I just realized we probably want to pull these out and we'll have to do that again. I'm going to go back into the solid view and I think we're looking pretty good. Um, we may, however, want to just pull our hand out a little bit this way just to center it between these because I think over in here is somewhat that way okay so we're looking good there we want to add a little bit of a crease here I think so let's just put some loop cuts in here using control R go back into tab Oh, okay, we're getting some weird stuff there. So let's undo that. Maybe what we should do is just loop cut this bottom one. Yeah, that's looking good. Now we should get that one single line that is actually in it. Cool. Now let's quickly jump into the rest of this. So I'm going to hit... Uh, go into edit mode, hit shift, A, add cube, drag it down here, 3 to go into the right view, rotate it, scale it down a little bit, just to position it in here, control R, loop cut it up, there and there, and uh, just to select the just that one element, just hit control L, and position it into the place that it needs to be. And that's looking pretty good as far as that goes. Uh, just make sure that you want to make sure it's shaded smooth when we're done. Uh, one more thing is we can shift A, add a cube again and drag it down here. And I'm going to make it uh, a little bit skinnier this way for right now and select these vertices. Hit and now this is going to be the hand here. So it might be helpful to have an image that you can look at while you're doing this. I'm going to hit, whoa. Oh, it's because I'm not in wireframe. Select those, and I can go back into solid now. Hit E, and let's start making that. Actually, um, I'm going to select that entire thing again and just make it skinny because the hand isn't very thick. 
uh, at least this way. It's more like a pipe. Uh, so yeah, now let's let's take this and E to extrude it and rotate it. And then you'll want to end it there. The last thing you'll need to do for this side is just E it one more time and scale it down. And then just grab these and uh, double tap G and move them up a little bit or something like that at least. You can kind of do it however you want. And we'll select these again and do kind of the same thing. just realized that looks funky. There we go. So now we have the hand like that and all we have to do is select it, all of it, control L, rotate it into spot and position it up there, go into the solid, solid mode, now go into object mode, uh, wait one more thing, we'll want to add loop cuts going this way, so control R, loop cut it on this side, and loop cut it on this side, and now we have our pipe, and yeah, so that's looking pretty good, maybe actually, I just realized that looks big now, control L, and reposition it. Yeah, so something like I think that's looking pretty good. Right click, shade smooth, and you have a hand. Thank you for watching this. It's a little bit over 10 minutes, not what I was hoping for, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and one last video just to throw it all together, and we'll see you next time on Blender Know How.